Miramax and Dimension title screens? Welcome to the land of defunct movie companies. Before Spy Kids took over his career, Robert Rodriguez made some pretty good films like From Dust Till Dawn and The Faculty. Okay, warts. Ah. That's a shit ton of warts. I'm a little worried about what this kid's doing with those dirty hands. Like that bedtime story first. She looks a little old for bedtime stories. Horrible gum sound effect. What is that? Before they even start. Terminator vision. A makeup keyboard. Or maybe it's just to unlock the computer. A whole makeup keyboard would be cooler though. They're keeping secrets from us, Gregorio. And I think it's our fault. This moving chair shot is stupid. She presses one button on the makeup keyboard and it slides her right to the other desk a little too perfectly. Also, you can see the track on the floor here. So basically all the chair can do is slide back and forth between desks. It's pretty useless and obviously just there to have this one cool shot of her serious line. Hey, nothing important. Just, just... He's really bad at playing it cool, especially for a spy. <laughs> Whoa, that doesn't look safe. And this girl does the fakest landing ever. The dad said his spy friend went missing before they got in the car. Then while driving, the missing spy shows up as a new character on the kids show. Well, that's convenient and impossible. Most cars don't play live TV, so getting that episode about the missing guy that day couldn't happen. Especially in 2001 when this movie came out. Honey? This is why having TV screens the driver can see is illegal. Keep your eyes on the road, buddy. You're gonna crash and kill your whole family. Hey, it's the mummy. Nice looking bandages, mummy. Stereotypical bully trash talk. Can I help you with something, macho? It's kind of hard for you to be too macho, Mr. Asshole Dad. You're wearing a pink polo shirt. I shouldn't be responsible for anybody but me. You're so right, Carmen. You're so right? Oh my gall. I wish I could go away to your world, Flute. Be careful what you wish for, kid. Hey, if I didn't say it, someone else would have. What the devil are these, uh... Okay, I've been trying to hold back on calling out the bad CGI, but these thumb guys look horrible. What were they thinking? All rolled into tiny packages I call Spy Kids. Why not Robot Kids or Ninja Kids? Oh, because Spy Kids is the name of the movie. But wait, I thought it was because the hot spy couple had kids. I confuse. These buckets of bolts will never pass his children! I think this business guy should be impressed, not mad. This villain dude just made robot clones of people's kids in 2001. That's pretty advanced. I don't even think they can make that now. Last time I saw you were this big, you're shrinking. What's up? Great joke. Glad they got this comedy legend in the movie to get some real laughs. Remind me to add a fail to Despicable Me 2 for having the same scene where a car transforms underwater. But I do like how this hot couple goes in with their hands together all Bonnie and Clyde style. Star Wars Episode 1 Underwater Scene. There's a lot for you to know and very little time to explain. It's cool. I don't really like exposition anyway. My parents can't be spies. They're not cool enough. I bet that line sounds better in the trailer. Who wears short shorts? These two kids wear short shorts. Would you care for a lullaby, sir? The spy submarine has a lullaby feature. Now flushing your poop. Poop joke. And he took that deuce like three feet away from his sleeping sister. That's gross. How safe is a safe house? There's nothing to eat. That's a neat trick. I guess David Copperfield built this kitchen. Check it out. Product placement. This reminds me a lot of the scene in Richie Rich where he has a McDonald's in his mansion. They still wear diapers. Only one is in diapers and only at night. Jeepers. Their kid wears diapers at night still? They're way too old for that. <laughs> Holy shit. That floor turns into crappy CGI. Watch out. It's pretty hard to look at. Virtual room. Yeah, that doesn't look suspicious at all. No wonder these geniuses got caught. Here's a few more cartoony sound effects. <laughs> Looks like a cheap kid's toy to me. How do you work this thing? Somehow she flies out the tunnel perfectly even though she doesn't know how to fly a jetpack. <laughs> These goons are pretty much just here to get hit and fall over like the robbers in Home Alone. That hair did. Nice line, kid. But that jetpack would have melted her whole face off, not just her hair. Those kids just stole those clothes. So, this must be Machete. Ah, so this is where the Machete movies come from. I guess if I was in four Spy Kids movies, I would want to go on a murder spree too. You have to put those goggles on before you get in the water. Otherwise, you have water on your eyes. Why is this kid dressed up like a magician? Let's see if they like bubbles. It's funny how all the Machete spy gadgets happen to be like kid stuff. First the gumball taser, and now this bubble. Oh, shit. Talking mushrooms. Haha. <laughs> Shiitake. 
All robots report to the grand room. Remember when kids' movies always had to have lots of kids in them? Carmen, Judy, close your eyes. We don't want you to see this, okay? <laughs> yeah, God forbid we get to see some good fighting scenes in this movie. We need one more person. Perfect timing to help with the final battle. Too perfect. You won today, Jeannie. You're leaning in a little too close there, buddy. So what do you say, kids? George Clooney. Go ahead, you got nothing on me, warthog. Sure I do. Diaper baby. Brook Show!